we go, familia. Yes, coming live on Facebook too. Thank you all for being here. Very grateful sharing this space with you all. Very grateful for seeing so much participation in the giveaways, guys. It's really good to see how many people are committed to upgrading their lives. And I know we are going through challenging times right now. And uh, it's great to see how through these challenging times we can use all this energy that's available for us, right? To upgrade every area of our lives. So actually we use the challenges as opportunities, right? Always remember that, how to use challenges as opportunities. And that's what Quantum Flow is all about. Yeah, thank you all for being here. Facebook, I'm here with you. Thank you all for showing up. Let me know if you're watching the replay. Are you just hanging out? Where are you tuning in from? So grateful. So this is another opportunity I wanna give for the giveaways. You guys have been participating a lot in the giveaways we're gonna be doing. And um, I want to give you another option to participate double. So if you participate today, you will have a second option. To, to win any of the prizes that you guys know, okay? So these are the basic things I wanna talk about today is the giveaway. I wanna talk about the Amplify Your Inner Genius webinar. And I wanna talk about um, what does it mean to, to have your heart open? I hear this happening a lot in, in spirituality, right? Spiritual path, personal growth, whatever. And people, oh, open your heart, open your heart. And it's like, okay, what do you really mean open my heart? Why do I want to open my heart? What do you mean by that, right? And, and this is what I wanna talk about a little bit today. It's like, how can that apply to our life? Let's bring it down to earth. Let's ground it, let's root it. What does that mean? How is that gonna affect my relationships? How is that gonna affect my business? How is that gonna affect my purpose, right? Is gonna make me contract or is gonna make me expand? It's that simple, guys. Forget about opening or closing the heart. It's really like you have your closed heart, okay? That means the energy is not flowing. You are full of tension here. You are actually in survival mode. Your whole system is saying, hey, don't come close to me. I don't want opportunities. I don't want people around me. I don't want to risk it. I need to protect myself. Usually, human beings are in a protective mode and we lose, we lose a lot of energy, time, money, um, relationships, lots of goodies, right, that are available to us because we are in protection mode and we don't open ourselves completely. So how can we reset that in our body, in our nervous system, and let our body know that we're safe, right? This is what I want to talk about a little bit more today. And uh, something that's very related to that is the inner genius, the inner genius that we all have. What does uh, being in your inner genius mean? It means you're in your full potential. It's, it's, it means you're playing full on, fully in, not halfway, not in your comfortable zone, not just hanging out. You're playing fully in. You're, you're using everything you got inside of you, all your codes, all your frequencies, your authenticity, your creativity, all your gifts are available to you because they're always there. But are we using them? I had a great question today, which was, Wampa, what is the difference between purpose and contribution? Okay, purpose is really, okay, I am, I am, it's, it's my codes, it's my frequencies, the gifts I have inside of me, they're always there. I can die with them or I can wake them up, but that's my purpose and it's always available to me. Contribution means Put that into practice, embody it, and now share it in whatever way you can, in whatever way you know of, share it with the world, right? So they go together, but not necessarily everybody wakes up their purpose, into their purpose in this life, unfortunately. Many people die with the music inside. They don't express that. They don't play their instrument our bodies are instruments, right? Our minds are instruments. Are we playing them fully? fully committed to its full potential, right? So this is what uh, the inner genius is all about. When we tap into that potential, when we wake up the energy in the base of our spine, through our spine, in our nervous system, that energy starts ascending and it starts waking up what we call here the thalamus gate. The thalamus gate is right at the back of the brain and usually it's closed. It's closed by the animal brain, right? The animal brain is a survival mode that's like, hey, wait a minute, I don't know. I don't know if I'm safe, right? I don't know if I wanna open fully. I don't know if like I wanna trust. I don't trust. 
And, and that's what happens. Energy is not flowing up. When I'm not trusting, I don't have ideas. I don't have creativity coming through. I just want to run. I just want to protect. You know what I mean? It's the animal protection. Like, hey, don't come close. I don't know who you are. I don't know why you're here. I need to protect myself. Okay, that's the opposite of being in your inner genius. Your inner genius has the energy flowing through the body amazingly. You feel amazingly. You feel empowered in your body. You start embodying your gifts. And what does that mean? You start embodying that energy that's always running through you, but many times we're not using it. We don't know how to really use this energy for manifestation, right? And it's getting blocked all around here, what we were talking about, the heart, the heart gets blocked, gets clogged, gets tension. All these gets tension, right? Who else carries tension in here? I used to carry so much tension on my shoulders, on my back. Let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about because I've been long time there and I have to be very, very conscious that I don't go there during my day, during the challenges of my day. The typical is... A challenge comes and you clench. You come forward. Yeah, right? Like, have you seen that in the posture? It's like, I, I want to protect myself. And this is why we are not heart open, right? We usually lose our posture and we're like this. What does that mean? What are you telling life when you're like this, right? Instead of being open, fully available, fully present, eyes fully present, full presence in your body. That's the masculine energy. And the balance between the masculine energy, the presence, and the flow, which is the feminine energy, the balance is the inner genius. The inner genius comes through because there's stability, there's safety, there's power. And at the same time, there's energy flowing. If there's no energy flowing, you see all those people manifesting millions of dollars, lots of things, all kinds of different women and whatever, right? Or men, whatever that is. But they're not fulfilled. They're not in integrity. They're not living in wholeness. They're just into the money mode, into the 3D world, right? It's a very masculine energy. Let me achieve, let me hustle, let me do. And that's okay, I've been there too, but I don't choose to be there anymore. That hurts a lot because I'm clogged. I can't even enjoy life, no matter how much money I have, no matter how, how many women I'm with, no matter whatever is going on outside of me, if I'm not open, if my energy is not clear, if the electricity is not flowing fully in my nervous system, I'm not going to enjoy life. So what for? What for achieving so much? What for? If your addiction is just to achieve, now let me go to the next step. And you're there and you're not even enjoying it. Now you want to think for the next one. And that's how life goes for a human being until they die. And they never feel that fulfillment, that inner love, that inner peace, that inner freedom. This is why, why I want to invite you to connect with me and hundreds of people, I think thousands, there are already like a thousand people in there, uh, in the webinar. If you want to be part of the webinar, we're going deep, guys. It's called Amplify Your Inner Genius, okay? If you haven't signed up yet, please write down genius and we will send you the link. It's for free. It's my gift to you. So you understand what is the science of this inner genius I'm talking about. How can you wake it up? And I'm not promising you, you're going to wake it up in one hour of the webinar, but I'm going to give you the tools and the opportunities for you to like really say, you know what? I'm done with living my life in this way. I'm ready to upgrade. Thank you. Thank you for reflecting that to me. I'm done. I don't tolerate this anymore. Because you know, life is what you tolerate. It's just the reflection of what you tolerate. This is something I love. I hear from my wife all the time, Regan. She's oh, such a goddess. I love her so much. And she's like, mm, always tuned in to like, okay, Wampa, great. Why did we tolerate this right now? Why did we tolerate that guy coming? Why did we tolerate um, these people talking to us like that? Why did we tolerate uh, staying on that place that we didn't really like it? You, you know, everything is just a reflection of how much we tolerate in life, right? And for me, um, everything that happens is just a reflection. It's something to learn. 
It's something to look at, right? I told you um, in the last live stream I did about me closing uh, when, when, when we got stolen, right? Like they stole some things from us after like a beautiful connection ceremony with a, an amazing community. And we were like so, so deep in love, so deep into like human connection, so deep into like intention and prayer and vision. And you know, when you connect that deep and like everything else disappears, right? It disappeared for like 24 hours. It was, it was like no time, no space. But when we came back, this happened to us. We arrived and, uh, you know, there was something missing and, and, you know, phone and computer and our lives more than the material thing. It was our lives. And more than that, it was like, I have been abused, you know, I have been like, uh, I feel like uh, they violated me, right? That's what we felt. And, and usually what happens in the body when something happens, a wound happens, something that you don't like, something that's not comfortable, that's, that makes you suffer or that you suffer because it's really, it's really a choice, right, that we suffer. But when you feel that pain, when you feel that pain in you, it's like, whoa, Okay, I just want to close. And what happens in your body, everything closes down. Everything closes down. Like the space between your ribs, the space between your spine, the space, like, as I said, the thalamus gate, your shoulders, your throat. You stop speaking your truth. You feel to say no, but you can't say no, right? And you say yes, and oh, you feel like you're betraying yourself. It's like a self-betrayal, right? Like, oh, I knew it. How many times have you done that, guys? And we know it. We said yes when it was a no. We say no when it was a yes. Deeply, we know this. Why don't we act from there? Because we have been rewired that way. That's, that's why. Like our nervous system has been rewired out of its natural state. Our natural state. You see a child. Look at the children. Look at the children. You want that? Yes or no. You put some music, they just dance right? They, they sing. They don't care. Like you got to almost, you know, hey, baby, like, hey, it's not time to do that right now. Like teach them a little bit to, to hold on to that energy because they don't really care. <laughs> I am. And that's it, right? That's the child energy that comes through. It's a full creativity, full expression, full opening, which we lose with time in society when we become adults. We lose it, guys, right? Or it's kind of there, like underneath the pillow. So what are we doing with all this work? is waking up that energy again, is learning to live from that place of creativity, from that place of like full expression of yourself, not caring about what they think, what they say, who cares, right? If I'm coming from my heart, if I'm centered, if I'm respecting others, right? So it's, it's, it's coming to that space of being you. Who are you? Are you being you really all the time? Are you tuning into that? And that's what I mean. When you have everything open, your heart around your chest, the energy is opening. You're radiating that energy around you, right? And that energy is going all up into the throat, all up into what we call the pineal gland. That's like the, 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 the inner star of activation. That's where you receive all like the codes, the energies, the frequencies, all the ideas, Right? The ideas are not yours. You're receiving them from the cosmos, from the universe. We are available to it or not. Are we in expansion? Are we opened? Or are we in contraction? Are we just closed into our ego? Into who we think we are? What titles we have? Where do we live? How much money we have? Whatever material identification we have had from the past and we're still stuck there. Right? And if we still stay stuck there, we won't be open to the infinite possibilities that are available to us right now. So all I'm doing is inviting you to open up to these infinite possibilities. There is ways that you can open that inside of you, that you can wake up that energy and that those ideas start coming out naturally. You don't have to force them. You don't have to look for them. There's nothing to look for. You don't have to look for other people to copy them, right? That's something I see people coming and, you know, looking at my method and looking what I do. And then I do, I, I, I see they, they do similar things, but, but they, they're not getting it. I, I don't even care because they're not getting the core of the work. I received what I'm teaching, right? I've learned so much. And then also I have been open to new ideas, to new, I'm not copying anyone. 
right? So, so, so I, feel, I feel good about it. When I see someone copying me, right? Instead of getting angry and like, oh, wanting to get that person, it's like, whoa, I send them blessings. I send them love, you know? If I need to put a, 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 a border there, you know, a little limit, I do that too. I have no problem. But usually I don't have to. I can only send them love and tell them like, I hope you find your path where you don't have to be copying other people. I hope you find your own codes, your own frequencies, your own way. And that's what this is all about, guys. You're finding the way that's for you, what works for you. There is not one way. That's why you hear me always in quantum flow. It's like, it's your flow, guys. It's not about me. It's not about you following me in the breath and in the movement and in the mindset and everything I'm teaching you. It's not about that. That helps you get to your own leader, to your own healer, to your own guide, inner guidance, to your own guru, teacher, however you want to call it. It's not me. It's not someone outside of you. It's all inside of you, right? And that's what I love when I teach quantum flow. And many of you, if you, if you haven't never done quantum flow, right now we are still, we're closing very soon uh, a three-day challenge free, for free, guys. If you haven't heard of this, because I know the algorithms are crazy right now in social media, so maybe you haven't heard. I have been talking about this for the last two weeks, but if you haven't heard of this and you want to try this methodology, just comment below manifestation, and we will share with you this three-day biohacking manifestation challenge. So it's how to biohack manifestation using your body, your brain, your mind, your breath, your movement, your expression, your meditation, your connection to that inner guidance that we're talking about. Three days, 20, 30 minutes a day, going super deep. There's a beautiful group supporting you and, and you can really change your life just with that, just so you know. So if you wanna know more about this, please just write manifestation and we'll send you all this as soon as possible. This is a, a very powerful and straight to the point method. You feel it right away, I promise you. You do 20 minutes of it and after you're like, whoa, I forgot what my problem was. Whoa, I, whoa what, I was, what was I thinking? What, what was I stuck in my story? thinking like the whole world was against me or I couldn't do it or I'm not good enough or whatever story you were, remember, you're just repeating that chip. It's like a chip that's, that's in there, right? It's a pattern, a suffering pattern. And we become addicted to those suffering patterns. So if you don't look at them, if you don't bring light to that shadow, you will never transform them and you keep falling into the same holes. Procrastination, self-betrayal, self-sabotage, distraction, not being able to focus and manifest because you're lost here and you haven't grounded it into your body. So what I want to share with you is let's ground it into your body. The time is now, guys. It's not about just dreaming about it. Law of attraction. Yes, I am this. I am that. Blah, blah, blah. That's good. Let's bring it into the body. Let's learn how to walk it. Let's learn how to breathe it. Let's learn how to reflect it around you, not just like a mask. You are that vibration, that unique vibration. You are that, okay? And that's what means being in the heart. You are in full optimal vibration of your spirit coming through your body and your mind, right? That is living in the heart. You are open to all possibilities. You are open and receptive to receive new ideas, creativity, opening up to new projects, new business, new beginnings, new relationships, because you're open and available. You're not in survival mode. Are you guys following me? I'm, I'm kind of like full on here, just like, pfft. I don't plan these things, you know, it just opens up and whatever's, whoever's there, thank you because thank, thanks to you, this is coming through. Right? I kind of know what I'm going to talk about, but then I just flow. So I see your comments. I see what's going on. And, and I'm just opening up for you guys too. So let me know if, if, if this is working for you. If this feels good for you right now. If this is inspiring you. Yeah? <laughs> That's really good because we're on this together. I'm inspiring myself too. Right? Especially my, with my new Peruvian hat I just got here. I love so much. You like my hat? Whoa, I feel so good about it. Right? It's like, woo! Look at those feathers right there. Ah, oh, I love hat and it protects, you know, it protects the head and it protects energies also for coming in because we're so exposed, especially when the, you're in places where the energy is so open, you know, like Peru, the energy is super open. We, we usually take a group once or twice a year 
here to Peru and we go deep. We work deeply. Like we have a nine day release into abundance methodology. People release anything that's holding them back from abundance, you know. And uh, here is a great place to do it because energies are so, so high and powerful. The mountains here are very powerful. And the people here are doing very, very deep work. So of course, being in that environment helps you open up even more. So you gotta protect yourself. You gotta be ready, right? And open and receptive at the same time. That is the key, guys. That is the key. You are open and receptive, observing if you're contracting, right? And at the same time, that doesn't mean you're not protected. Because it's very important to protect yourself, of course. Why are you going to be affected? Because that guy is with anger and then there's some sadness there. And then there's a collective depression going on. And there's, that's all happening, I know. I know and I, I've been affected by that too. But it's very important you always come back to your center. Protect yourself. Cover yourself with golden light. Whatever you want. You, you can visualize it. You can see it. You can just feel it. It doesn't matter. But know that there is a golden light around you. Right? Like golden egg. And you are protected by that. And through that protection, once you know that's happening, once you know and you've taught yourself that that is what reality is and you're really not affected by others or whatever happens outside, then it's easier to feel that safety, that trust, that openness, right? But we have to do that work of consciously protecting ourselves. Consciously like, okay, I'm surrounded. Thank you. Do your prayer or do your meditation or do your whatever yoga, quantum flow, whatever works for you. But always with that intention, I'm opening myself, but at the same time, I am protected. I have angels protecting me or energies or light or love or however you want to call these energies that are always there available to us, right? You can call them angels, but if that's something that you kind of don't resonate with, just see it by energies or universal energy. It's energy that's protecting you, that is guiding you, and it's always available to you, right? But many times because of the rationality, we get away from it, right? Why do we repel it? Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, that doesn't exist. Oh, that happens for some psychics, but not for me. Let me tell you something. You are an intuitive being. Part of your birthright, who you are, you are intuitive. You know this. You have that connection. And if you haven't woke that up in this life, I tell you, you still can. And if you still don't believe in that, look at why you don't believe in that. What's holding you back? Because whatever's holding you back from that is holding you back from many things in life. You're not opening yourself fully for what life has available to you in every way. Like how I was guided to my partner, to my wife, that's there just doing her work in, in, in bed, just uh, listening to me and, 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 and floating with me. Um, how I found her and how I connected with her and how I manifested this relationship was by listening to my guides, listening to, to my angels, listening to that inner voice. You can see it as an inner voice. It doesn't matter. It tells you what's right and what's wrong, what feels good and what doesn't feel good, right? And for me, with the moment I saw her, it was like, yes, you are the one and I'm going to be here present for you. And I'm going to be opened to whenever the space is available because she was surrounded by like eight men in those moments. Eight men were there, right? And I was like the ninth, right? <laughs> She's saying like, what are you doing, Wampa? She knows, she knows. And I, could, I didn't want to fight about it, right? I'm like, okay, I trust the inner voice. What did it tell me? Don't go try to fight with all the men and prove that I'm a, a better man, you know? That's going to be ridiculous. That's going to spend all my energy. And she's just going to see me like a little puppy trying to gain attention. So I was just like, boom, the master, just really feeling that in my body, really feeling when was the right time to open up. And you know what? It was magical. I was playing drums on the beach, playing drums for everyone because it was the after party of the four day event from people of all over the world. I was just tranced out. The moment I opened my eyes, she's coming and only with one man. Okay, so that was my opportunity. I finished playing drums. I got up and I just stood there and just looked at her in the eyes. No words. I don't know even what's your name. I don't even care. I just want to share with you what I feel through my eyes, through my presence, through my breath. And we stay there. The three of us, right? Just feeling the energy, just breathing, just looking at each other for like five hours, guys. Still like 
way after sunrise. Like we saw sunrise and everything. It was out of this world. I didn't plan that. I didn't think about that. It wasn't from my rational mind. It wasn't from a place of like, I need to do this. What is she going to say? No, it was coming from my soul. It was coming from my inner genius that says, Juanpa, okay. Okay, now it's the time. And I'm like, okay, should I say something? No, it was just silence. Be in silence. Enjoy the silence together. And it was next level because she was feeling the same. We got lost. And then, of course, after one month, we were together until now, or oh, more than five years, traveling the world together and, and doing everything together. And, and, and it's like a dream come true, right? Why did that happen? Dreams come true when we embody our dreams. Dreams come true when we're present in our bodies, when we clear from our bodies whatever's holding us back, whatever story from the past, whatever information is not available for the next step, right? Whatever's holding you back, right? That blind spot. And this is what I wanna share with you guys in this webinar. Amplify your inner genius. You're gonna go deep into what does that mean? How can I open that in every layer of my being so I can start living my life from that place, right? Let me know if that feels good for you. If you wanna join us, remember just Genius. Just write the word genius and we'll send you all the information. That is happening very soon. So get ready. I think it's like in 24 hours, more or less. So if you can't make it, of course, you always will have the replay. But yeah, I'm just telling you we're going super deep. And just to finish the cherry on top, the giveaways is very important. If you want to participate on the giveaway, say, again, I want to I wanna go over it right now. You can do it with this live stream, okay? The giveaways are going to be all about all kinds of courses to upgrade your life, like the quantum flow immersion, the quantum flow certification, that the leadership training, uh, a detox that I do, burn, shred, and rise, which is like to really connecting with the power of your body, losing weight that you want to lose, really focusing your mind and your energy. There's courses for everything, guys, and a lot of them. There's a coaching one-on-one -on -one with me, quantum flow session, this methodology I'm talking about, one-on-one -on -one with me. There's quantum flow practitioners that have practice this for years that are offering sessions for you. There's 10 of them already that are offering sessions for you. So there's so many gifts, guys. There's so much you can receive from this, okay? And if, for you to participate, all you got to do is share this live stream. If you shared it already, you're going to be participating double. So it's something good that you can do, okay? So the first thing is you share this live stream, then you tag people, so they can hear this and wake up. And this conversation, I talk so many themes, right? Because I'm bringing up so much information to you for you to really see like, oh, is there something for me here? Is there something that resonates for me? For me? Is there something I'm not seeing in my life? Okay, show me more. Tell me more, right? If you're that kind of people, if you're a truth seeker, if that's your vibe, then welcome to the family. That's who I am. That's how I live my life. And if you want to bring more truth seekers on the road and bring them and help them, support them, and amplify their own inner genius, guys, please share this live stream. Tag three people here. Even if you're watching the replay, that's good. You'll still get to participate. And just tell me your why. Right? If you already told me your why in the other live stream, it's okay. You don't have to do it again. But if you haven't, tell me your why. Why do you want to be a better version of yourself? Why do you want to wake up your inner genius? What is that music that's inside of you that you know that's there, but you're not really sharing it with the world? You're not really embodying that inner genius that you came to embody, right? And we keep evolving, guys. I don't tell you I've arrived anywhere. I keep opening up every day for me, it's an upgrade. Every day there's growth. Every day there's expansion. And all I'm doing is checking in with myself. Am I in contraction? Am I in tension? Am I kind of covering myself, right? Or am I in expansion? Am I opening and available? Am I in flow, right? Am I open and available for all the opportunities that are available for me right now? That's the question I want to ask you. Even when you listen to me, are you open and available right now? Or are you close? Do you feel tension? Do you feel anxiety? Do you feel frustration? What's going on for you guys? 
right? And for people from Instagram, guys, um, just writing the, the word genius, we will share with you the, the this works differently because we, we can't see the live stream after. So people on the team will be mesh, um, sending you a message, okay? If you want to be part of the webinar and also if you want to share, you can share it after or you can come to, to Facebook, check on this live stream on my page and share the live stream. So you all can participate, guys. There are gifts for everyone. Everyone's gonna receive a gift, I promise you. It's so good, and I'm feeling so good about this, guys, because it's a way for me to give back. More than give away, yeah, I know we call it like that, and that's the word, but for me, it's a give back, because I have received so much, so much for my teachers. Since I'm, since I'm nine years old, guys, working deeply on my being, on my mind, on my spirit, on my emotions, everything, everything who I am since I'm nine because of my situation, family situation. You know, I had a brother dying and we had to uh, go to all these shamans and healers and, and, and all kinds of energy people that would help us because the, the regular doctor said he was going to die. He was going to die in one or two years. And we didn't accept that. We said no. There's no limits. This is not true. This is not possible. We're going to look for other ways. And that's when I started waking up, guys. At 12 years old, already doing like full-on meditations, full-on energy activations. I was fully in with my family, you know. I was almost like forced into it because I just wanted to be there and support my brother. And that's what woke me up at a very young age. But I've been growing all these years forever. It takes forever, guys. You never arrive, right? And that's what I want to share with you guys. It's like everything I have have been, you know, receiving since that age. Everything I've received, it's my time to give back. And that's why I do it every year. I give back. I give back because I feel so, so grateful with life. I feel so grateful with every one of you for showing up. I feel grateful with, you know, your commitment I see in people. And I see people so committed to, and sometimes they can't pay for a course. But I see them. I feel them. You guys write to me all the time and asking me and telling me and like asking for guidance. Well, this is the time, guys. This is the time where you can really get those inner activations to help you. And you can take them as a gift. The only thing I ask for you guys is share that. Whatever you receive, share it with your family, with your community. Let's make a world together. Better world together. It's time. Not waiting anymore for leaders outside of us, presidents and, and all that. Why are we giving our power away? It's time to wake up, familia. It's time to wake up now. Let's do it together, all right? And this is why I'm doing this. It's like, let's wake up the energy first inside of us. That we have so much energy that we feel so good with life. That now we just want to share. We want to wake up others. We want to look at others in the eyes and tell them like, Hey, hello, I'm here. Are you here? Are you in your body? Are you alive? Do you feel alive and awake? Come, do this breath. Come, do this movement. Come, read this book. Come, let's, let's go this and that, you know? Let's wake up for whoever that wants to wake up. If they don't want to wake up, don't lose your energy. My grandfather would always tell me, don't give the pearls to the pigs because they won't really enjoy them. They don't know what they are. I'm just going to you know, treat them as mud, right? There's people that don't appreciate you. That's why you have to know who are you sharing your gifts with. But that comes with time. Once you have awakened that inner genius, once you have awakened that pineal gland, that inner crystal that you have in the center of your brain that's waiting for you. And actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking about that and showing you images and showing you a video how to see where the pineal gland is. How is the pineal gland? How does it work? How does that create and open up your intuition? Open up your vision. How to do that? Naturally. Naturally. Nothing from the outside. Just naturally. I'm going to be sharing all that. So you're going to be part of this webinar also, guys. Amplify your inner genius. Okay? Comment below with genius and we'll share with you this uh, amazing medicine coming through, okay? Amplify Your Inner Genius is the webinar happening very soon, okay, familia? So you can share this live stream. This live stream is completely open for you to win the giveaway too. Share it with others, tag people, 
Tell me your why. Why do you want to be part of this giveaway? Why do you want to receive? What are you going to do with all those gifts that you're going to receive? I want to know. I want to hear from you. Okay? And then between me and the team, we are going to be just um, doing it randomly. Really, really uh, playing, you know. We, we do it in a very sacred way with numbers. And we have a, our own methodology to, to, to find out who are the winners. Okay? So it's not just like by, okay, look at what's your why and I'll choose you. It's not about that. It's like really tuning in and then each one of you has, you know, a possibility and then the ones that are called to do it will receive the gifts. It's very simple and it's beyond our hands. We're not here planning anything or, or nothing. The winners will be announced on the webinar. Just so you know, that's so important also for you to participate on the webinar because the winners will be announced there and you still can participate. Just so you know, if you participate in this live stream, then you are counting for two. You'll be counting like for two people in one, just so you know. That's why I'm doing this because I know the most committed people are the ones that are showing up, that are here present, that are, will watch the replay, that are here fully present and commenting and, and, and all that. So I really honor that, guys, and I want to give you that opportunity also. I'm very, very excited, very, very excited to, to share with all of you very soon about all this information and to share with all of you all this that's happening right now. It's great times to be together, guys. It's great times to share. It's great times to upgrade and uh, really uh, use each other to, to, to rise together. That's what this is for, guys. It's like a reflection of each other. We're here to reflect each other and then together we rise, okay? So that's what's happening right now. Thank you, thank you all for showing up. I see so many comments. Thank you guys. If you're just watching the replay also, remember, let me know, tag me so I can come and see your comment. Please let me know that you are inspired by this. Let me know that you are feeling this. Let me know that you want to help in the world. I want to know that. I want to know if, you, if, if you're part of us, you know, if you're here to help, if you're here to support, if you're here not only to be the best version of you, but, but to, 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 to be the best you can be for your family, for your community, for humanity. Why not, right? We can, we can do it all. We can have it all, as my beautiful wife says. We can have it all. We can be it all. We can do it all, right? Everything at its right timing. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. I honor you, respect you. I support you completely on your path, completely on your path. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Keep showing up. Keep doing the work. He <laughs> Yes, keep surrendering to this inner work, this inner alchemy. Keep surrendering to it, guys. When it gets hard, just surrender to it. It's the only way. Let it melt. Let it melt inside of you. Let it melt all those resistances, all those limitations. Don't fight them. Don't, don't, don't hustle against them. Don't push against them. Breathe them. Enjoy them. Observe them. Let them melt. When you observe them, they melt, I promise you. When you fight them, they become stronger. That's the inner work, observation, breathing into those parts inside of us and letting them go. And if you have to shout, you shout. And if you have to cry, you cry. Whatever needs to be expressed is expressed so you can re release the pain and not get stuck in suffering. Okay? Release the pain and let go of suffering because suffering is a choice. Familia, this is how we finish today. Thank you all again. Pura Vida from Peru, sending you all the love, un corazón vibrando en una frecuencia. Mucho amor.